you know, popular theater really informs my process of theater making. Uh, a lot of the work that I do is built on principles of active participation and aims to provide that kind of immersive experience for the audience so that, you know, you kind of get a better understanding of whatever topics are being explored. Um, in, in more recent years, my work has focused on issues of um, historical significance, but I've also presented work that deals with issues around health, education, um, social issues, things like intergenerational work. So a lot of, you know, actually when I think about all the plays that I do, even, even the more mainstream type of plays, all of them still kind of have that process that is very informed by popular theater, both in terms of the actual process itself and the kind of issues that we're presenting. You know, my exposure to theater started from, I guess, before birth. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> uh, it's genetic. My, my father is Barbados's most prolific playwright and he's been active in theater since the 1970s. Um, so I was I was born into it in a sense. I grew up listening to him on typewriters, you know. Um, so it's definitely genetic. But my formal training would have started at Barbados Community College, like you said in in reading the bio, and that was under primarily the tutelage of she's now Dr. Yvonne Weeks. Um, and from there, I then went on to study at University of the West Indies, and that's where I think my my current kind of philosophy of theater really was shaped um, at UB because I was under the guidance of people like Raul Gibbons, Louis Mac Williams, Dr. Danny Lindsay, Ed Deshay, who is amazing in technical theater. Um, so a lot of my philosophy of theater and my understanding of using theater as a teaching tool, particularly to understand self and or history and explore our histories, that really came from um, the four years that I spent at the University of the West Indies under those wonderful people who I call my mentors. Um, so that's kind of where I think my foundation is. I did go on to study again after that, but even the studying that I did after would have been informed very strongly by what I was doing at UB at that time. If I think about Trinidad, you know, working with people like Raul, Louis, and um, Danny in terms of the performance side of it, just kind of understanding that theater is so much more than let's put this on a proscenium stage and kind of investigating the other possibilities for space, going into, you know, very unconventional spaces or perhaps even taking a conventional space and using it in an unconventional way. You know, so they were, were very critical in reshaping my idea of, you know, what is theater to begin with? 